Next up this evening is a very special presentation, our very first Purge in Music Award. And to make this very special presentation, please welcome a longtime San Diego Radio icon, local music supporter, and San Diego Music Awards Lifetime Achievement Award winner, the guy that was my inspiration to get into radio, and also my first job in radio was blowing up balloons for this guy at his club nights in El Cajon. Give it up for Mr. Jim McGinnis. Wow, thanks, Rick. I, I wasn't aware that you used to blow up balloons for me. That's that's fantastic. Well, look how far you've come now. Let's hear it for her. Rick Lawrence, everybody. You can't see him, of course, but he's been the voice of this event for a long time. Uh, and boy, it's great to be here. You know, after what I've been through this year, it's great to be uh, on this side of the dirt. Um, so that's why it gives me an extra pleasure to uh, introduce our next uh, special award winner, Candy Kane. She is one of the greatest singers ever, whether it's blues or whatever you want to call it. She's just a terrific singer and a flamboyant performer, one of my favorites. I have been uh, playing her music on and off of uh, the radio for 16, 18 years or so. In fact, I just played Same Thing Saturday on my show on Channel 3. All right, enough of that crap. All right, so uh, we have a little video presentation here to give you, uh, to bring you up to speed on the great Candy Kane. And uh, it goes something like this, somewhere. It's possible to blues fans from around the world. Singer Candy Kane is San Diego's greatest musical ambassador. Kane has led an amazing life worthy of a biopic. Her brash blues singing has made her a favorite at venues around the world. But Kane's also a songwriter, playwright, former adult star, and activist. But her biggest challenge to date has been a 2008 bout with a neuroendocrine tumor, which has sidelined her sporadically ever since. Fortunately, despite undergoing surgery as recent as this past May, she has largely been able to overcome the disease, ramping up activities and maintaining a performance schedule of up to 250 dates a year. It all lends credence to the title of her play, The Toughest Girl Alive. Her first album, Burlesque Swing, was released in 1987, setting in motion a discography that's now a dozen albums and twice as many compilations deep. In the process, she's won numerous awards, ranging from the 2004 Trophies de France International Awards for Blues Artists, plus eight San Diego Music Awards including 1998's honor for Artist of the Year. While Kane has a dedicated fan base in the U.S., it is in Europe where she has had the biggest impact. This is especially true in the Netherlands, where alongside blues aficionado Joris Wingarden, Kane founded United by Music, a program that helps performers with intellectual and physical disabilities. Kane's touring for the organization has taken her from Belgium to South Africa. Kane has appeared in videos by other prominent artists, including Dwight Yoakam's Little Sister, and the Cramps, Ultra Twist. Adding to her list of accomplishments, in 2007, Kane's song, My Own Worst Enemy, won a National Songwriters Award for Best Blues Composition, while 2009 saw her album, Superhero, reach number 10 on the Billboard Blues chart. The following year, she debuted her autobiographical musical, The Toughest Girl Alive. Well received by critics and fans alike, the show has held two sold-out series of dates locally, as well as a successful New York run as part of the International Fringe Festival. This year, the San Diego Music Awards is proud to honor the music and accomplishments of Candy Kane with our first ever Courage in Music Award. She's on tour right now. She played in Detroit last night, flew to San Diego for this award, and she's going back to Washington, D.C. Please welcome Candy Kane, everybody. Thank you. 
you so much. I was already a mess when he started talking about being above dirt. That was an awesome way to put it. It is awesome to be alive and, uh, and to be above ground every day. And um, to be able to make music for a living is a tremendous honor and blessing. And I believe that all of our words that we write as songwriters are very important and that words can transform our lives. They've transformed my life and they can transform your life too. So as songwriters, I believe all of you here tonight have a responsibility to write songs that are honest, to write songs that tell the truth when sometimes other people can't be truthful, to write songs that empower yourselves and empower others while you do it. I got an award for being courageous, but all of us are courageous as artists for being willing to stand up and be counted when it really matters. So please continue to do that in your own musical lives. And thank you so much for making me a part of your musical community here in San Diego. Thank you.